The Master Distiller of Jack Daniel Today on Echoes Through Time Channel, we delve into the world of whiskey and the story of a key figure in its history, Nathan Nearest Green. Born around 1820 in Maryland, Green was sold as a slave to a family in Lynchburg, Tennessee. During his time in slavery, Green honed his distillation skills, a tradition in some African-American communities. Among his techniques was the use of charcoal filtering, known as the Lincoln County process, crucial for producing Tennessee whiskey. After the Civil War and his emancipation, Green continued his work in distillation. It was during this period that he met Jasper Newton, Jack Daniel, a young man interested in the art of distillation. Green became his mentor, teaching him everything he knew about the process. Recognizing Green's skills, Jack Daniel hired him as his first master distiller and ensured that Green and his family had a prominent place in the distillery. The Jack Daniels distillery benefited immensely from Green's techniques, especially the use of charcoal filtering, which gave the whiskey its distinctive smooth flavor. Thanks to Green's expertise, the Jack Daniels Distillery became one of the most respected and well-known in the United States. Nathan Green not only left his mark on the Jack Daniels Distillery, but also passed his legacy on through his descendants. His children and grandchildren continued working at the distillery, and his great-grandson, Vernon Vic Alexander, was one of the longest-serving employees, with over 40 years of service. Green's contribution was finally recognized in the 2010s when historian and author Fawn Weaver began investigating the true story behind the Jack Daniels distillery. Her research led to the official recognition of Nathan Nearest Green as Jack Daniels' first master distiller and the creation of the Uncle Nearest Whiskey brand in his honor. Uncle Nearest Premium Whiskey launched in 2017 and has won numerous awards, celebrating Green's history and impact on the whiskey industry. Additionally, the Jack Daniels Distillery has paid tribute to Green in its promotional materials and established the Nearest Green Education Fund to provide scholarships for Green's descendants and other African-American students. Nathan Green's cultural impact has been acknowledged not only in the whiskey industry but also in popular culture. In 2016, the New York Times published a revealing article that brought Green's true story to light. This revelation was significant because it highlighted the contributions of an African-American man in an industry historically dominated by whites, particularly in the southern United States. In 2019, Jack Daniels unveiled a monument in honor of Nathan Green at its distillery in Lynchburg, Tennessee. This monument is a statue of Green alongside Jack Daniel, symbolizing their collaboration and Green's importance in the creation of the famous whiskey brand. The distillery has also incorporated Green's story into its tours and educational materials, ensuring that visitors learn the true history behind the brand. The recognition of Nathan Green was a gradual process. For much of the 20th century, his role in Jack Daniels' history was largely unknown to the general public. However, thanks to the efforts of researchers and advocates of African-American history, his contributions have finally been acknowledged. In 2016, during the 150th anniversary of the Jack Daniels Distillery, many details about Green and Daniels' relationship were made public, sparking renewed interest in Green's story. Nathan Nearest Green died around 1890, but his legacy lives on through the recognition and celebration of his role in whiskey history. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content.